Good evening, Go Black Knights fans. This is Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with former Army linebacker Kamante Yao, um, current uh, graduate of the United States Military Academy, uh, second lieutenant in the Army, former uh, special team stalwart, and uh, triple option defender extraordinaire for uh, West Point. Had some big plays in both of the Academy games last year. How are you doing tonight, Kamante? Doing pretty good. Glad to be here. Good stuff. So um, we were just talking a little bit before we came on. Um, you're currently in Atlanta, Georgia, doing an internship. Um, why don't you bring all the Army fans up to date on kind of what things have been like um, since graduation about a month ago now, I guess, and, and what you've been doing and kind of what your path is here coming up. Uh, it's been pretty nice since graduation. Uh, being away from the West Point walls and just being free from, I guess, the time restraints of football has been kind of fun. You just kind of get to explore yourself outside of, like, something you've known for so long. And now, I'm, uh, like he, like you said, I'm here in Georgia Tech, and we're working – I'm working with the GTRI team, and we're talking – we're working, actually answering military problems and looking at the military capabilities and doing things like that. Uh, so once I finish here, I'll finish here at the end of July, and then I'll start to move towards uh, Clemson. And I'll go to Clemson in the fall. I'll be there for two years, and that's where I'll start my – after that two years, I'll get my master's degree, and that's where I'll start uh, my military service, and I'll be an ADA officer. Um, as you may know, I'm, when I go to Clemson, I plan on studying human trafficking and getting into that a little bit. Um, and my master, I didn't think uh, my master's degree program. I didn't mention that, but I want to do industrial engineer. So that's the thing I'll be doing while I'm there. Well, that's there's a ton of awesome stuff to unpack there, and I look forward to doing that over the next twenty or thirty minutes or so. Um, bunch of really really cool stuff. Um, you know, I have been following Army football since I was a cadet back in the late '80s, early '90s. And really, this is a very unique path, something I hadn't really heard of. Obviously, you to get into this program, you had to have a really good GPA at West Point, I'm thinking, um, really smart young man. So why don't you tell me a little bit, obviously, this is a little different from what a lot of your teammates and classmates did coming out of school, graduating, probably taking a couple months of uh, leave, which by the way, I, I agree with you, I think some of the most fun and kind of relaxing time I ever had were the first two months of grad leave right after West Point. Um, it's kind of interesting. All of a sudden you're being paid as a second lieutenant. You don't have to go to classes. You have to go to class, but you don't have to go as much. You don't have to, you know, for you, you don't have to do football practice, all that. So it's a really cool time. So why don't you just tell our listeners a little bit about kind of how you started exploring this option for yourself and kind of what led you down this path to, uh, to go to Georgia Tech, try and pursue your master's in industrial engineering at Clemson, and along with all the other things around human trafficking and stuff, which I'm going to get into the human trafficking angle in a lot more depth as we go along tonight as well. Okay. Um, if I actually start with, like, I want to start with when I first went to West Point and just show that anything can happen. My first semester at West Point, uh, I finished and I looked at my class rank and I was a thousand and something. I was in a comic club though. <laughs> so <laughs> I, from the comic club to grad school, don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything for anyone listening out there. I always keep pushing if there's something that you want. So uh, what really led me to this option is one of my, I'm in a fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha. And one of my uh, fraternity brothers went last year. His name is August St. Louis. And he was telling me about like the process and everything. And then once I get got into schools a little bit more, uh, first Lieutenant Michael Clark, he's at Clemson right now. Well, he just graduated with his master's. Okay. He was telling me about the things he was doing there. And I was like, I was really interested in that. And I already know that Clemson had a really great program. So it was just, everything just kind of fell into place. So uh, it was a long process. I was kind of nervous at certain points. And I thought I would hear back early and I wouldn't hear back. Uh, I had to, it's the same basic stuff I guess you would do for any scholarship. I had to write my statement of purpose, which was like a really lot of self indulgent figuring out me and like making me recenter my focus. And I, I was glad I got the opportunity to do that. Um, GRE and stuff like that, you know how that is. Yeah. It's, 
it was it was kind of a grind. I'm not gonna lie. And then I had to take my GRE during the bye week of the season. Oh, so no. I was, <laughs> like I think it was the week before Air Force. So I'm like my first start. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Watching game in my hometown. That's next week. And right now I have to study for this, uh, graduate, <laughs> which could be pretty much a yes or no of whether or not I get in. So it's like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's just that like, is a it. lot of pressure for a two week time period, right? There. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, good stuff, Kamante. Um, yeah, very impressive and, uh, Really, really amazing, um, especially, like you said, considering where you started out as a plebe um, and how you improved your class rank and took the GREs and all that went well, um, you know, played great in the Air Force game. We all got to see that. So that was really cool. And um, yeah, so that, that kind of led you down there. What um, gave you the interest, you know, and you talked a little bit about your fraternity brothers uh, as an alpha um, and you um, you know, go, one of them, uh, Michael Clark, going to Clemson and some of the other guys. What gave you kind of the, the interest to pursue industrial engineering uh, for your master's degree? Um, kind of where does your interest in that field lie and, and what kind of developed that for you? Um, so growing up, I've always wanted to help people. And I've always wanted to give back. It's one of the reasons I joined my fraternity and became a part of that. It's because I wanted to be around people that will help people. So my whole life, I've always tried to find opportunities and everything and take the path where I can help the most people. That's why I went to West Point is because West Point gives you the opportunity to give back. Like it's putting me in a position to do what I'm doing now. And I feel like industrial engineering is in every big major world problem. And I feel like you can apply industrial engineering in some, some part in some way you can apply yourself into those problems with industrial engineering. So I wanted to be able to have that flexibility if like all right we're making progress in this i see this the issue that not getting that much attention let me try to see if i can go focus in there see if i can contribute to that you know or if i can contribute to this area at all if i can contribute to this area at all and just kind of be where i need to be and i didn't want to tie myself down to just one industry i wanted to be able to help where wherever i need to be and i feel like industrial engineering gave me the best chance to do that Absolutely. That's good stuff. I actually, my engineering track as a cat was actually industrial engineering or systems <laughs> engineering, they called it at the time. So um, interesting. So yeah. You, and you talked about helping people and where you can make the most impact. So let's dig in a little more to something that I think, you know, personally is it, it's kind of cool. And this is what really made me personally take an interest in your story. Um, stopping human trafficking is kind of a passion that's near and dear to my heart. Um, and I think it's one of the most under talked about and under promoted problems. I mean, everybody wants to talk about, you know, I won't get into politics, but they want to talk about a lot of other stuff and human trafficking as a, for people who've really studied it, as we know, it's a huge global problem um, and a problem right here in the U.S. So what kind of gave you a passion specifically to tackle human trafficking? Um, you know, I've read that one of your professors, one of your lead professors that you're going to be studying up under at Clemson has made some major progress in that arena. Um, you talked a little bit about kind of how your internship leads into that a little bit. So tell me a little bit specifically, Camante, what gets you going in the morning? What gets your heart beating around trying to stop or at least have an impact to help stop tr human trafficking? I mean, it's just what you said. It doesn't get the attention that it needs. And like, not going to be too political but on it, but it's ugly. Like, And no one wants to imagine that that's their sister, that's their mother, or that's someone they know inside their situation. So it's like thinking about something like that and making sure, putting yourself in those shoes and imagining the things people have to experience going through that. If that that's the passion. That's like that's the fuel. And it's hard, it's easy to take yourself away from it because you try you don't see it. It's not on TVs, it's not publicized like that. Like you hear about it in social media every now and then, but you don't really get to see the ugly parts of it. And the ugly parts, and when you actually like go into it and you get to look at it, and you see that, and it's like, how can someone just let this go on? and not want to help it? How can someone just let this go on and not want to contribute in this field or play any part of it? Like, I want to be part of that solution. That is awesome. That is, uh, I'll tell you, as an old grad, that's, you know, it makes us proud that there's young grads like yourself who are, who are looking to do stuff like that. You're a great representative of the academy, um, something you should be really proud of. So, um, you know, as you make your way up to Clemson, you talked about an August 15th start date. I guess before that, 
let's talk about, let's dig into a little more detail on specifically what your internship at Georgia Tech entails. You mentioned you guys are doing a little bit about, um, a little bit around some military studies. Talk a little bit about that. Um, so I guess the main problem I'm working on right now is just looking into counter UAS systems and uh, just their usability, how good they are, um, how reliable they are, and um, where they where they fail or where. And um, I hope to eventually maybe run it against real systems and like seeing like how the simulator matches up. But that's a that'll probably be longer than just this summer, and that'll probably be a next summer issue. But um, that's pretty. That's what we're working on for this summer. Right. Is let me just ask you this: Anyone else on your team? Um, have military experience or an officer at all, or are you kind of, because you're a West Point grad, are you kind of like the go-to guy that everybody asks questions around? Uh, on, for the, I guess for the internship, I'm kind of by myself. So okay. And kind of a, okay. a learning curve. I'll say that. Okay. Uh, good stuff. That makes sense. Um, but as far as like people there, there's actually a chair force grad. Oh, so, no way. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> poke fun of us a little bit and I like to poke back yeah. but uh <laughs> just show them your highlight reel from the game last November <laughs> <laughs> show them the fourth down play to Jabari Moore man it just <laughs> kicks and giggles um so really cool so as you go into Clemson now August 15th um you know obviously you haven't started yet so it's hard to say exactly what you'll be doing but tell me a little bit about kind of you know the classes you'll be taking first semester as you get rolling and, and how all that'll look um so they have like a few base fundamentals classes like of engineering that they want everyone to take going into the program so that's what i'll start off with um i have a t i have a ta position that i'll be doing so i'll be also teaching some mm -hmm. classes while I'm there and that first semester uh like you said dr sharkey he's really good at what he does and he's going to be training me up on what the research looks like, giving me some material to read, just prepare me so that once I like start taking a big part in it, I know what I'm doing. I'm not just lost. And he's not just throwing me in the ocean. So uh, that's what my first semester will be looking like. Again, uh, still thinking about it, but I might play football. I've been working out a little bit, trying to see if it's something I want to do, just stand in shape just in case, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that that was going to lead me to some some of my follow on questions. So it's kind of a great segue. Um, so have you been in touch with any of the coaches down at Clemson yet? Uh, not yet. I wanted to make sure it was a decision I wanted to make before I talked to him. But right. uh, I did. Yeah, I do have two years of eligibility. I will be in grad school. For two oh, I, years. I didn't realize you had two years left. I thought you only yeah. had one. So interesting. Oh, but I have the extra year. Yeah. And then, uh, my freshman year, I didn't play. In, I didn't play in four games, I don't mm -hmm. think. I mean, okay. I have to have to double check on that. But yeah, yeah, it's so funny because when you guys are West Point cadets and you're playing for Army, like that topic never even comes up, right? Because <laughs> you got to graduate <laughs> in four years and that's it. So it's really interesting when you transition to a civilian school like Clemson with a big time powerhouse football program um, that, you know, they have the, the extra year because of how many games you play, plus the COVID year. Um, you know, it's one of the things when when COVID started that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the members of Go Black Knights started talking about was, gosh, Army's got to be playing against 24 and 25 year olds. This is crazy. <laughs> like, it's like playing Brigham Young every week, but <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so talking about that, you know, it just so happens you're going to Clemson, great industrial engineering school also happen to be phenomenally good at football as well. Um, and they're going to compete for the ACC championship and national championship just about every year. Um, you know, if you do decide to try out, what excites you about the opportunity to potentially play for an ACC and national championship contender? Uh, honestly, it's just, uh, I want to see what makes those guys operate at that type of level. And like seeing how they compete, seeing what inspires their winning nature in them. And those are probably going to be principles I decide to take with me. I'm going to like use that because I'll be in the military later. And I think military and football has a lot of resemblance as far as at least leadership and motivating people to win. So like seeing that and getting that experience firsthand on, I think it also helped me in my military career later on. Absolutely. I um, I can't remember the guy's name, but I think a couple of years ago, Clemson had a captain, a team captain who was a prior military guy. 
And then he walked on to the program at Clemson and they made him a captain. It was like three or four years ago. Um, they had, it was like they did like an ESPN college game day story on the guy. So that was pretty cool. So potential for you there as well. So um, we're just, you know, going to wrap up with some, some kind of fun stuff. Um, you know, first of all, uh, have you had the opportunity, you know, you graduated, you came down to Atlanta for your internship. You're from Texas. Is that correct? Texas. Okay. Have you had the opportunity to get home at all since graduation, see the family, anything like that? No, sir. So uh, I had to start this internship like the week after graduation. And then I've been down here the whole summer. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting a week or two weeks off and going home for a little bit right after this and then seeing my family and everything. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you're used to that from being an army football player for four yeah. years. <laughs> you guys never get to see anybody. So, um, yeah. So we'll just wrap up with, with a couple of rapid fire questions. Um, just, you know, nothing real serious, just some silly stuff. But before we do that, um, anybody, you know, obviously, I, and I, every West Point army football player grad who I get the opportunity to interview you know, you guys have accomplished some amazing things that not many people in America can say they've accomplished. And, um, you know, no one gets to where they are by themselves. So anybody you'd like to uh, thank or shout out to real quick, this is going to go out all over YouTube, hopefully get more than 100 views like my interview with John Radigan did. But we'll see what happens. So. Uh, Adrian Arthur Middlebrook, he uh, helped me kind of pick schools and make my decisions. And uh, he helped me throughout the process a lot. Uh, my fraternity brothers, especially August St. Louis and Michael Clark, they kind of helped lead the way. Michael Clark, I'm pretty much following your footsteps, so you know how I feel about you, bro. I appreciate you. Mama, you know I love you. I should have said you first. Please don't get on my case. <laughs> Trust me out. I miss you. I'm going to be home at the end of the week, uh, end of the year. And everybody else, my friends, my family has helped me get here, everyone that's supported me, my football family, the brotherhood. Hope you guys go and beat Navy. Do what we couldn't do our senior year and be in the Air Force and be Navy. Bring that trophy back home again. Good stuff, Kamante. Um, so I like to wrap up sometimes with a little segment I stole from David Faraday at the Golf Channel called Rapid Fire, um, where I ask a bunch of meaningless trivial questions and you give me your answer as quickly as you can. So um, most hated DPE class at West Point. Oh, survival swim. I was in rock swim. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, favorite class and favorite instructor at West Point? That's a setup question, but uh, Ranger Hickman, SE 375, he was a statistics engineer. Cool. Um, best memory from playing Army football the last four years? Starting in my hometown. Got to be. <laughs> awesome. Um <laughs> More, more hate, Navy or Air Force? Whew, it's a different kind of hate. <laughs> hey, uh, Air Force. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, biggest haze when you were in Beast? Oh, I'll have one. Okay. Okay. I'll have Surprisingly, I don't have one. Not a big okay. one. That's fair. Um, I, best time on the IOCT? Uh, two, I think, not two minutes. Whatever is passing is minus 30 seconds, three minutes. Nice. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> that's, that's not bad at all, especially for a guy your size. That's really good. And last question, um, who was – your um other than your position coach who was your favorite coach best mentor um on the coaching staff uh coach sean centurio he gives great light life advice he's my special teams coordinator so he was the one that uh gave me my first shot on the field and i really appreciate him awesome and last question uh favorite cadet uniform mm. does ac use count <laughs> yeah, you can say ACUs. It's the most comfortable. So that works. All right. Thanks, Kamante. Really appreciate it. Army fans, this has been Joe Iacono with Kamante Yao, former Army linebacker, graduate of the United States Military Academy, uh, current intern at Georgia Tech, and future student and potentially football player at Clemson University. 
Hope everybody has a great night and beat Navy. <laughs>